Okay, let's see some basic pen tool techniques here. Well, here's our pen tool, and I ripped this off from the toolbox, so you know how to do that. So basically, simple pen tool, I just click one place, click again, and Illustrator connects the dots. Let's get rid of that. Now the real beauty of the pen tool is to draw nice Bezier curves. And you can see when I click and drag, handles pop out. And this is how I can control the curviness of the line. So I can adjust these by getting my direct selection tool. I can go back and edit the handles. Or also, while I'm using the pen, I can hold down the Alt key and I get, well, this is actually the Convert Point tool, the Convert Anchor Point tool. But I can also use this to edit the handles. I can also hit the Control key. That will take me back to either the Direct Selection tool or the Regular Selection tool, depending on which one I use last. But there's a couple of things that I want to show you. Often when you're drawing with the pen tool, you may deselect and then realize you really wanted that line to continue. So you can get your pen tool. And let me zoom in here. And I'm going to hover over the last anchor point. And you can see the cursor changes to a slash line. So now when I click and I click again, the line will just continue. Now another thing you may want to do is is add points to a stroke. Now we don't have to go back to the toolbox to get these other tools. See this one adds anchor points, this one deletes anchor points, and this is your convert anchor point tool. All you have to do, if I hover over a line segment where there is no anchor point, you can see the cursor turns to a pen with a plus, and if I click, it adds an anchor point. If there's an anchor point already there, and I hover over it, it automatically turns into the, the minus tool, and I can click, and that point is gone. Now this guy is your convert anchor point tool, and I don't have to go back to the toolbox for that either. I can just hold down the Alt key. So what this does, it converts the anchor point to whatever it isn't. So there's two different kinds. There's curved points or smooth points, and there's corner points. So let's click on this point, see what happens. So there we go, this changed to a corner. Now if I want to change it to a smooth point, I can just click and drag. Now CS3 has some other tools up here in the control panel. Like this guy here, this is another way to convert the anchor point. If I click on this, it becomes a corner point. If I click on this, it becomes a smooth point. Well, the advantage of this, too, is because you can, uh, you can select several points at once. So I can select more than one anchor point, and I can go up here and click this icon, and they all turn into corners, or they all turn into smooth points. Now another uh, one that's handy is this guy. Well, this will remove the point. I can just click on it, and that anchor point is gone. This one was is going to cut at that particular point. So if I click this scissor here, well, it looks like nothing happened. Let me deselect, and I'll get my uh, selection tool. So if I click on this guy, you can see this line has been cut at that particular anchor point. All right, now another thing you may want to do is connect two lines together. So let's see how we do that. Let me move these two lines and points close to each other. Let me zoom in. And the first thing we have to do is we have to select the two endpoints. Oops. So the easiest way to do that is just to uh, drag select with your direct selection tool. So I'm going to click and drag over the two endpoints. Oh, come on. There we go. And now the two endpoints are selected. If I zoom out, you can see the other anchor points are not selected. They're still white. All right, so to connect these two endpoints, well, there is something in the control panel. This guy here, if I click on this, 
this is going to join the two points by drawing another little segment there. Let me undo that. I'm going to select the two anchor points by drag selecting. And I'm going to hit Control J. And that draws a segment in between. Let me undo that. And when you do this undo, we have to make sure that only those two points are selected. For some reason, it always selects everything. So let me deselect and select them again and zoom in. Now this time I'm going to do Control alt j in order to align these two anchor points directly on top of one another. So say you don't want a, an extra segment here, you just want these two points to connect right on top of one another. So I'm going to do Control alt j and I'm going to get this dialog box and both is what we want. So I'm going to say OK. And now this is going to position those two anchor points directly on top of one another. They're not joined yet though, so I can just hit Control J now, and I'm going to get this dialog box. So once you see this dialog box, you know you've done everything right. So now you just decide, well, what kind of point do I want to create from these two anchor points? A corner point or a smooth point? So I'm going to say a smooth point and say OK. And now you can see they've been connected into one piece. If you forget the keyboard commands and you have to use the menu, here's how we do it. Let's select the two endpoints and we'll go to Object, Path, Average. Click both, OK. Then Object, Path, Join. Pick out the point. So these are pretty easy to remember, these keyboard commands. It's just Control J and Control Alt J. So try to remember these. And uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you later.